Back again with Joe Diamond, which means we're about to learn awesome magic. What do you got for us this time? This is the very first piece of magic I ever wrote a script for. I, I peaked early because the script has remained pretty much unchanged for the last 15 years of my life. <laughs> I would love to believe it's full of like misspellings and like, like hatred against the school <laughs> bully or... Josie, as you've been learning card magic for the last year, you've probably learned that playing cards are filled with dozens of hidden meanings. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you the hidden meaning behind behind each of the four aces, okay? The ace of diamonds represents money. The ace of clubs represents luck, like a lucky clover. The ace of hearts represents love. Aww. And the ace of spades is the death card. Jeez, we oh, heavy, heavy, uh, heavy uh, yeah, yeah, hard turn, hard turn. Actually, I, I know it's a heavy topic, but because of the amount of ink, the ace of spades is literally the heaviest ace. It really? is. Hold yeah. your hand out flat, right. hold your hand out flat. How heavy does that feel, approximately? Um, like card, but heavier. Card, but heavier, okay. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you what, luck is a much lighter subject than death. Let's see if it shows in the cards. Hold your other hand out flat. Can you feel a difference between their weight? Yes. You can, it's weird, right? Don't move. Clever, isn't it, how I gave her death and luck and kept love and money for myself? <laughs> but there is one other hidden meaning I've kept from you. It's in the spade. Not only does it represent death, but represents change and transformation, which like death are the only constants in life. We all experience change and we all experience transformation. But with a little luck, we can actually make things change for the better. Look what's in your hand. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, now you're stuck with death. So. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh... <laughs> this is what I love about all of your work, Joe, is that you take the simplest ideas and you add such depth and meaning to everything. I can't wait to walk through the process of this. Uh, oh, it's so good. Talk us through. I literally was researching the history of playing cards and cardomancy, readings, telling fortunes with playing cards, and I adapted those meanings into the four aces. This is based on Doc Daly's last trick. This is super simple. I learned it off a Bill Malone DVD when I was like 14 years old. He used a glide and a double lift, and that's exactly what I learned and what I've stuck with all these years because the sequence is so justified. For everybody at home, it is worth the trip to learn the, the simple version that we did before, sure. uh, sure. uh, so. just to contrast it with what you're doing. Yes, so they are in uh, alternating order, diamond, club, heart, spade. These don't matter unless you're gonna do the presentation I do. And I picked them up in this kind of grip to, uh, to demonstrate each of them because that's going to allow me to do a double lift in a moment uh, and without having to change everything. So I talk about each one and I'm just putting them on the bottom after I take them off the top. So these are four fair displays yes, of a single display, card. Just going from the top to the bottom, nothing sneaky happening yet. Right. And then I say, and the, and the ace of spades is death and everyone reacts. Even if they don't do it outwardly, you feel a, a tone shift. Right. And as I put and I put it on the bottom, which is what I've done with all of them, but then I say, as if to lighten the mood. Well, actually, I know that's kind of heavy, but speaking of weight, the ace of spades is the heaviest ace. And now I'm in the right position to do the glide. Explain to her the glide. So, the glide is quite literally, the ace of spades apparently goes down to the table, but it stays in my hand and I've taken out the card underneath. And that move is covered by hold your hand out flat because look, when I do the move, my hand literally comes to right there and goes, on, totally covered. and goes right down. And I don't worry about this being perfect because it wouldn't be if you were taking it truly off the bottom anyway. Right. Uh, and that goes on their hand and they're thinking about the weight, not what card do I have. Right. They're, they're literally weighing it. Uh, hot tip if someone's having trouble with the glide, you don't want to do any of this stuff or anything, right. but I just find for me just keeping that grip and just pushing up is a lot easier. I do not square these up. I keep this ace of spades pulled back. Okay. But I just keep that ace of spades back because it's going to allow me to come over and just pick up these two cards as literally a double. So rather oh, than picking wow. up, so rather than picking up one card and leaving behind two, I am picking up two and leaving behind one. So technically from off the top, this should be the diamond. Right. But because I've w woven the story with you know, life, death, love, everything, you're thinking about the weight of the card. You don't remember what order the cards were in. And if 
And you've also trained us four times in a row that yes. this is the way you'll be displaying and, each card. And for anyone nervous about learning a double lift, this is a perfect one to learn because you don't have to do any of the moves or breaks or anything. You literally just pick it up, you're ready to go. You're covered on that side from that bad edge. Right. The top is covered, the bottom is covered. The only one that's covered, that's not covered is this one. And you have to look really closely in order to see it. And you also have a card in your hand. So, and I, but I'm gonna hold this dead on to you. Even if I come over here to show it to him, you're not looking at that extreme edge. Yeah. And again, especially if I keep it moving. So at this point, we've only done two moves and they're the most basic versions of the most basic yes. slides in all of Magic. The glide, of course, is you you use your yep. pinky to slide it down. Uh, and in this case, it's not even a double lift. You're just holding, you're picking up two yep. cards and pretending they're one. Yes, and now the only move I need to cover, because I can't put this in your hand, Josie, because if you do that, it will spread. You'll see there's two cards. Right. So I need to put it back here and then pick it back off. So I say, Josie, hold out your other hand. And then I just pick it up in the same grip, just one card and put it on your other hand. What you can do also is say, hold your hand out, Josie. Um, actually a little here, perfect. You can also do that if you want, if you want to adjust their hand. And now I've just switched both cards super simply. So at this point, visually, we watched the Ace of Spades yep. set down. We watched the Ace of Clubs set down. And of course, in both cases, we, uh, we use the easiest moves in all of magic. Yes, exactly. <laughs> While talking about death and luck and fortune. This yep. is amazing. Exactly, exactly. So here's the question. Josie, you got a trick for me? Yeah, I do. We got four aces and they're different types. Diamonds. Ace of diamonds, what's diamonds. that represent? Diamonds, money. Clubs. Clubs, parties. Parties. Getting yeah. lucky, you, you're, you're nailing it. <clears throat> Hearts, um, uh, divorce. Uh, uh, aortic. <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, I got nothing. Life. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the opposite. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the original if you do the opposite, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the, you know it's you're original. You're the weird owl of magic. <laughs> uh, that spade was pretty big. It was bigger than all the others. Yeah, is it maybe heavier than all the others? It the is eight? so heavy. Yeah. It is very heavy. Yeah. You want to see if it's heavy? Okay, I do, I do actually, actually. Okay. You can show it you to can me, show, and, show then, it to and then you can hand it to me. Yeah, that's, yeah like definitely that, that's definitely the ace of spades, spades, right? Yeah, and there's you a lot hold of your ink hand on there. Out. Yeah, I yep. should hold my hand out uh, yep. now that I think about it, right? Yep. Okay, okay, all right, I'll hold it. Go. How heavy is that? You know, now that I think about it, it is pretty heavy. Yeah. Life is a heavy experience. Would you, do you think the clubs would be lighter? Because life is so heavy, we need to go to a club. To go to a club. To light yes, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. God, so, we're just mm, nailing yes. this. All right, why are you asking about clubs? Because they might be lighter, you'd have to see. So, oh, that's oh, the club. Yeah. That's totally that is the, club. the club. That's the ace of clubs. We should put it somewhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, how does it compare to this heavy ace of spades that represents yeah. life that I'm how, having? How is it? Ooh. You know what? This does feel heavier yeah. now that I think about well, it. Well, guess what? 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 <laughs> oh what? my God! Oh! I'm stuck with divorce and and what was the other one? Death. <laughs> money. Money, money and divorce. I'm very wealthy but lonely. <laughs> Dude, the fact that you got this in about five seconds yes. is amazing. Yes. Joe Diamond, where can Gosh. we see so much of your amazing stuff? Uh, JoeDiamondLive.com and my Instagram is at JoeDiamondLive. Perfect. Awesome.